Hello everyone. Welcome to Devices Help and Support, your ultimate destination for all things related to devices setup, troubleshooting, and optimizing your tech experience. Today, we're diving into the setup process for the Netgear EX2700 Wi-Fi range extender. If you've been struggling with weak Wi-Fi signals in certain areas of your home or office, this little device can be a game changer. We'll walk you through the steps to get it up and running, boosting your Wi-Fi coverage and ensuring a strong, reliable connection throughout your space. So, stick around as we make sure you're getting the most out of your internet experience. We'll start by showing viewers what comes in the box when they purchase the Netgear EX2700. Next, we'll walk viewers through the manual setup process for the Netgear EX2700. This involves connecting to the extender's Wi-Fi network using a computer or mobile device, accessing the setup page through a web browser, and following the on-screen instructions to configure the extender's settings. For those who prefer a simpler setup method, we'll demonstrate how to set up Netgear EX2700 via WPS button. The box includes the range extender itself, a power adapter, and perhaps an Ethernet cable if needed. We'll discuss the physical features of the device, such as ports, buttons, and indicator lights, to give viewers a good understanding of what they're working with. In the Netgear EX2700 manual, you'll find everything you need to know to get your Wi-Fi range extender up and running smoothly. It covers the basics like physical setup and connecting cables. All right. Let's move on with the Netgear EX2700 manual installation. If you're someone who likes to have complete control over their network settings and preferences, this is the perfect walkthrough for you. We'll be taking you through each step, from the initial physical setup to configuring your extender settings via a web browser. So, if you're ready to optimize your Wi-Fi coverage and tailor it to your specific needs, let's jump right in. Initially, connect your EX2700 to a power source and ensure that the Netgear EX2700 is switched on. You have the flexibility to use either your mobile phone or your laptop for the setup process. Select the Wi-Fi icon located on the taskbar, and the list of available Wi-Fi networks will be displayed. Access the Wi-Fi network list on your PC, then establish a connection with Netgear underscore EXT, launch a web browser and enter either MyWiFiExT.net. If MyWiFiExT.net doesn't function properly, input the default IP address for Netgear, which is 192.168.1.250. Following that, the Netgear Genie setup will prompt you to establish a Netgear account. Select the Wi-Fi Range Extender tab to advance through the Netgear EX2700 setup using the Netgear Genie Wizard. You will receive a prompt to choose your preferred network. Choose the network name you want to extend, which is typically the SSID of your home router network. Now, proceed with the Netgear EX2700 setup by inputting the password. You should now see your extended network listed with the same name as your home router's network, followed by underscore EXT. To connect to the EX2700 or the extended network, use the same password that you use for your router. OK. Now let's move on with the Netgear EX2700 WPS setup. Please do check if your existing Wi-Fi router supports WPS. Ensure that your current router is located close to the Netgear EX6110 Wi-Fi extender. Now, press the WPS button, which can be found on the side panel of the EX2700 extender. You will observe a blinking WPS LED light on your Netgear EX2700. After a minute or two, press the WPS button on your router. Ultimately, the WPS LED on the X2700 extender will turn solid green, indicating that the connection has been successfully established. Now, attempt to connect to the extended network once more. This completes your EX2700 setup via the WPS method. Now, the time has come to provide you the guidelines regarding resetting the Netgear EX2700 Wi-Fi extender. The first step is to locate the factory reset button on the Netgear range extender device. Now, insert a paper clip and then press the reset button for 10 seconds. The power LED light on the extender will begin blinking. After the boot up process, your extender is now reset to its factory settings. Uh.